What do I need to live stream? Live streaming is a process of delivering audio and video to audiences using the internet. It is very easy to live stream using a smartphone with an app such as Facebook or YouTube. In this video, you will learn the fundamental concepts of online video streaming. In order to live stream, you need an internet connection, audio and video sources, an encoder, which could be your smartphone, and access to a streaming destination. What is a content delivery network? Streaming destinations, also known as content delivery networks, can receive a stream from your encoder and distribute it to large audiences. Popular free content delivery networks include Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and LinkedIn. Private content delivery networks allow you to charge for access to your live streams. They also allow other premium services such as branding and quality of service. Popular private content delivery networks include Vimeo, Decast, and StreamShark. All content delivery networks provide users with a streaming URL and secret key. You can retrieve this information from the CDN's website and enter it into your encoding software or hardware system. This is how your encoder is able to live stream directly to the CDN of your choice using the internet. If you're using a smartphone, you can log into your account using Facebook or YouTube, and this information is already available. What is an encoder? An encoder takes audio and video sources and encodes them into a stream for content delivery networks. Encoders use compression to combine audio and video into a reliable live stream. There are software and hardware encoders available for live streaming. Software encoders include OBS, Wirecast, and vMix. Hardware encoders are physical devices that are plugged into cameras and audio mixers in order to produce live streams. What is internet bandwidth? Internet bandwidth is the amount of data that can be transferred between your computer and your internet service provider. Your internet connection generally has a bandwidth limit, which acts as a funnel between your computer and the internet. Internet speeds are measured in kilobits per second. 1000 kilobits equal a megabit. 1000 megabits equal a gigabit. You can easily test your internet connection speed by typing speed test into Google and running a free speed test. What is RTMP and what bitrate should I use? When you live stream, you are using your upload bandwidth to send data to a content delivery network. Most live streams use a data transport method called RTMP, which can be used to compress your audio and video sources using various bit rates. The higher you set your bit rate, the more data you're able to send. Also, the higher your bit rate, the higher the quality of your live stream. Generally, you should never use more than half of your total upload speeds for your RTMP live stream. Recent surveys show that a 6.5 megabit per second stream quality is considered television quality. Your bit rate should be set depending on the resolution and frame rate of your production. The higher the resolution and frame rate, the higher your bit rate should be set. What are the basic steps to live stream? The first step is setting up your encoder to work with your audio and video sources. For example, you may want to run OBS on a laptop so you can use a USB webcam like the Huddlecam HD Pro to connect a video source to your computer. You may also decide to use a USB audio interface to connect multiple microphones to OBS. Once you have your audio and video sources connected to your software encoder, you can retrieve your RTMP streaming information from the content delivery network of your choice. You can then enter the RTMP URL and secret key from your content delivery network into OBS and click start, streaming to begin your live stream. You can also log directly in to services such as Facebook and Twitch to start streaming without having to retrieve your stream key using their Stream Now API feature. Some content delivery networks like YouTube do require you to press the start stream button inside their website 
to officially start your stream. That's it for this Back to Basics video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment below if there's anything we missed in this video.